Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 21 video in Veeam Advanced Training and in this video we are going to discuss about van escalators and we are going to create a van escalator in Veeam Backup and Replication and we can we are going to see what is the cache mem cache for Veeam escalator and what is the all prerequisites to create van escalator and what is the use of van escalator in Veeam Backup and Replication. So basically uh, van escalator uh, we can configure van escalator in veeam and backup and replication and we can define the um, cache location where the all the um, uh, data uh, data which is going to be uh, transferred from one host to one uh, backup server to another target backup server and where it's going to store locally and what is the benefit of van van escalator so let's see so in this screen you can see we have a, a van escalator in primary side and a secondary side and we have a van 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 escalator so van escalator is going to limit or going to handle or manage your transfer uh, data transfer from one uh, of proxy to second of uh, uh, proxy server uh, in veeam so basically if uh, uh, if this is our primary uh, primary site and we have a source host server and we want to do the replication or uh, uh, for this primary site to any other site like data uh, dr site or any on a cloud or um, or a secondary site which is uh, there in our infrastructure then we can use the van escalator to handle the traffic which is going to be routed through the van so basically this uh, from from one internet side to second internet side we we can we can uh, limit our source and destination network bandwidth network transfer and that uh, like during during that uh, uh, particular time of a uh, phase if any data changes is going to be happen the data changes is uh, temporarily going to save in cache location which we are going to define in van escalator so basically van escalator can be used or we can use where we have to uh, do the site replication from primary site to secondary site and we can use the van escalator to limit the uh, bandwidth and uh, manage uh, manage the bandwidth and control the van escalators uh, data transfer so here is my lab environment for this video the first machine is been to get dc01 which is my active directory server if i go here so this is my active directory server and if i click on local server you can see win to get dc01 which is my acting as an active directory server and dns server and this is my domain name victorinfosol.com and the second server which we have is our veeam server which is fintuke 12 hyphen veeam which is our backup and replication server so here's the veeam server fintuke 12 hyphen veeam so this is veeam server i'm going to log into the veeam console here and then we are going to see what we have in veeam and how to create the veeam backup and rep uh, veeam uh, van escalators in veeam backup and replication so So this is our uh, Veeam backup and replications. So if I go to va backup infrastructure, you can see we have a van escalator here. And if I right click here, we have option add van escalator. So if I click here, you can see the choose the server name. So this is my local server. I am going to use the local server as a van escalator server. So we have a here description. You can say set the primary site van escalator and then we have a then we have a stream so we can we can define how much a stream upload stream can run on a same time so you can limit this uh, this is going to depend on your um, bandwidth how much you have a bandwidth at your site so for example i'm going to set it to four so it's going to run uh four uh 
st uh, upload stream at a time so if I click next and this is a traffic for TCP IP port which is going to use for data transfer so you need to make sure the port is going to be allowed from the board side firewall uh, the port is not going to traffic is not going to block for this port particular port the uh, in between uh, between two sites so click next and it's checking for any existing van escalators so now we are going to have a cache location where we can define so you can see all the drive has been uh, searched here so we can define the cache location so for example I'm going to give you 200 gig uh, cache location in E drive so it's going to create here in E drive cache location so now click next and then we have a review information server name and the server type this is a virtual machine running on a VMware so we have uh, virtual VMware and the cache size and the cache location and it's going to see what is there so transport already exists van escalator is not installed so it's going to install so if you want to verify we can go to program and feature and from there we can see van, uh, van escalator is not installed so it's going to uh, install the van escalator so click on apply and now it's going to start the van escalator package and going to install it so now you can see it's restarting the service for van escalators so now you can see van escalator created successfully and we can click on next and it's going to give you summary van escalator was created successfully created you can click on finish so now if I go here you can see we have a few options here we can clear cache whatever uh, information is in cache it's going to clear and then we have uh, populate cache so it's going to um, make sure the cache having the latest information stored in cache so it's going to uh, give you the clear all you can uh, so it's going to clear the cache uh, and populate the cache if I click OK so you can see it's going to start and it's going to check whatever information is required to be there in cache it's going to verify that so you can see status is success so this is how you can do the populate the cache and then we have a clear cache and then you have a remove button this is going to remove your van escalator and if you go to properties you can modify in case you want to modify this to two you can uh, change the upload streams you can change the cache location also if you want and then you can review and then you can finally apply the changes which you have performed here so this is how let's modify this to 150 gig and then you click on next and then if you when you click on apply it's going to apply these changes in the van escalator and then we can verify so it's going to restart the uh, van escalator service every time when you do some changes here so now successfully created if I click here you can see successfully modified and uh, if you go to properties you can see the settings has been changed so 150 gig EV van and then we have a streams which we have changed to 2 and we have a review options what all the settings we have so this is how we can uh, create the VM, uh, VM van escalator and how we can uh, modify the settings and if you go here on drive e drive we have created the uh, uh, this van escalator in e drive so if i go here you can see it's going to take all the space 150 gig it has been taken by this van escalator so by default when you create the size uh, van escalator it's going to take all the space which you are going to define and then if i browse we have a global cache few folders and then we have a received what it's going to receive 
it's locally going to save and receive folder and whatever data it's need to be sent it's going to automatically save in send folder and then we have a global cache so so this is all about how we can create the van escalator in veeam backup and replication so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye